title of this writing is Your Mission. Got a question for you. Do you have a mission? If not, you're probably not going to get what you're going after. Reminds me of a story. My nephew graduated along with five other Navy SEALs from a civilian university at the top of their class. The admiral who spoke at the commencement gave a credible reason for that. He said, SEALs are trained to be mission-oriented. They methodically move through their mission, completing one objective, then close the door and move on to the next piece. They repeat that process until it's mission accomplished. There's a major lesson in there for the rest of us. Unless what we're aiming for is a mission, we're more than likely going to miss the mark, repeatedly. It's what I affectionately refer to as the nice-to-have syndrome. Picture, if you will, a horizontal line in your mind that goes from 0 to 100. Any objective that falls on the left end of the line is something that would be nice to have, but not attainable by you because of the low priority it's given. Now, contrast that with something you have listed closer to the other end of the scale. That's known as, if I don't get this, I won't be able to breathe. When you're there, you're in mission territory. Nice to have objectives are great talking points, but lack passion. We can blab about them until we run out of air, but they won't take flight until they're on the right end of our scale. Is there something that's been eluding you your entire life? It's a safe bet it's been waiting around in the shallow end of the pool all these years. If you truly want it, it requires a deep dive into Missionville. If it doesn't take on that importance, you'll forever stew about what's not available to you. The invisible sign you'll wear around your neck says, Gone fishing, instead of, I'm on a mission. All the best, John.